Well, hello, and thank you so much for joining us today. I am Janie Burkhead. I'm a one-star national marketing director with Nerium, and I just want to talk to you all a little bit today about prospecting and, and how to get that going. Some of you that may be listening in um, are new brand partners, so if that's the case, welcome to the Nerium family. I know you're going to love it as much as me and my husband Jacob have. Um, and for some of you, uh, maybe you've been in for quite a few months or even a little longer. And um, either way, this is a perfect training for anybody, no matter where you are in your Nerium journey. Uh, if you're a new brand partner, we definitely want to help you prospect so that uh, we can we can help you with your first two goals. And your first two goals are to find three customers, three preferred customers to use the product. And this will help you receive your product for free every month and, and essentially it will eliminate any overhead that you have in your business. So we definitely want to help you find at least three customers. And goal number two would be to help you to find three brand partners uh, to start your journey with you. And when you do this, you will do what we call Fast Start Qualify. And we know that people who Fast Start Qualify um, over time are 10 times more successful in this business than people who do not. So we definitely want to help you uh, find three customers, find three brand partners to help you fast start qualify. Um, and then also we want to uh, help those of you who have already been in the business for a while. We want to help you continue to grow your teams as well because um, you know, there's a few reasons why you should already, um, or you should always be prospecting, even if you have um, already have a team going. And, and there's a few reasons for this. First of all, you know, the speed of the leader is the speed of the pack. So if you're continuing to recruit, then your team is going to continue to recruit. Also, this puts you in charge of your own business. You know, one of the things that Mark Smith always says, Mark Smith is our, our top income earner here in Nerium International, and one thing that he always says is you don't ever want to put your financial future or your goals in the hands of someone else. And so this puts you in control. Uh, if you want to get to your iPad or if you want to get to your um to your car or even your $25,000 bonus with this company or even higher, you can really control that yourself with the amount of recruiting you do. And you know, sometimes money is tight and, and obviously that's why we're we're all doing this business um, is, is because it is a business and we want to make money and you, you know, there's really just no problem in this business that three to five new personals this month on your team won't solve. So we want to help everybody with this recruiting piece, no matter again where you are in your journey here with Nerium. And um, the best way to do that is to follow what we call our prospecting wheel. You can find all of this information, by the way, that we're going to talk about. I've just taken it straight from page 20 of your success planner with Nerium. And it's that gray spiral bound book that came with your launch kit. If you don't have that um, success planner anymore, you can also go into your back office, um, go to the resources tab at the top of the page, click on marketing center. Then on the left hand side, you wanna click um, internal documents. And about 10 down on that list, you'll see the success planner as a PDF. You can just click there. Again, it's on page 20 that you'll see all of this information um, on, on prospecting. So this is the prospecting wheel. We want to make sure you guys are um, taking a look at the whole picture and then we'll, we'll kind of um, digest each one of these. But really what you're wanting to do, the whole idea behind prospecting is you want to use a sort versus sell strategy or a sort versus sell mentality. Uh, one of the things that Darren Kidd, another top income earner in our team always says is professionals sort, amateurs sell. So you want to be somebody who sorts not sells. And this is really probably great news for most of us. I know it was good news for me. I didn't want to sell to my friends or my neighbors or my family or the people I knew at church or uh, the people I saw at work. I didn't want to be um, a salesperson. And so when I first heard about this business, in fact, that was one of my biggest things I was scared about was, oh my goodness, am I going to have to be that pushy salesperson? And not only do you not have to be that, we really encourage you not to be that at all. Um, and to use this system where you're sorting 
versus selling. And what we're able to do um, with that is it's going to help you find the people who want to be on your team or who want to use the product as opposed to you trying to convince somebody to do it. So you want to use the sort versus sell strategy and um, you want to share this with at least two new people each day, every day. Um, so it's our two-a-day system. Now, some of you may have more aggressive goals. If you want to get to national marketing director in your first four months in this business, that absolutely can be done. In fact, that's been done on our team quite a few times. So it can be done, but but two a day is not going to cut it. You know, so you, you probably have to put in a little more. Or um, some of you may be a brand new brand partner and say you want to earn your Lexus your first month. Again, has been done many times and is absolutely possible for you to do, but you're going to need to do more than two. So, so we always recommend everybody start with a list of about a hundred people. And what this list is going to do for you is it's going to give you posture because, um, you're not going to be so much concerned and emotionally tied to the outcome. If you have, um, if you, if you have a really big list of prospects, it's going to make you to where you're able uh, to, to really have the posture of sorting versus selling. If you only have a, a list of four prospects and you need three, well, you're going to have a different, a different posture where you definitely need those, those four people that you're talking to. If you've got a list of 100 and you only need three, you don't, you're not emotionally tied to that outcome. So um, we always recommend people start with a very, very fat list. And, and who goes on that list? Well, Anybody that's got skin <laughs> and anybody that you have a phone number for or you can reach out to on email or Facebook, if, 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 if any of those criteria are met, then you want to put them on the list. You don't want to try and pre-qualify people. You don't want to try and figure out who might like it, who might not like it. You just want to go ahead and build a list, put everybody on it, and then go through the system. So step one, as you can see right here, is peak interest. Step two is use a third-party tool. Step three is schedule a three-way call or set a follow-up. Step four is have the three-way call. And step five is sponsor. So let's talk about each of these individually. So first of all, uh, we want to peak interest. This is really just to um, start the conversation or share an exciting aspect or two about Miriam. Really, it should be nothing that's going to include details that's covered in a third-party tool. So, for example, sometimes I have people say, oh, well, they didn't want to look at anything because they, they felt like the product was too expensive. There should be no way they even know how much the product is because that hasn't been covered yet. What, How much the product is or how much it costs to get started in the business, all of those things are covered either in a third-party tool or in step four in the three-way call or the follow-up. Peak interest is no details. It should contain no details at all. It can be something very simple like this. Hey Sally, I'm really excited about this new project I'm working on. If I sent you something, would you give me your honest opinion? Of course, Sally's gonna be so curious. <laughs> she can't help herself from saying, of course I wanna know what it is. Send it to me via email. Or she might say, yes, definitely I wanna know what it is. And you can say, okay, can I email you or can I text message you? Um, what, what, which one did you prefer? So, so very, very, very simple and peak interest. Another great way to get somebody's interest peaked is to show them maybe your own before and after photo or another before and after photo. Um, we have the most amazing results here in this company and people who are maybe interested both on the product side or the business side, really those before and after photos kind of do the trick. So, um, before and after photos are one of my favorite ways to peak interest as well. So then step two is going to be use a third party tool. Um, so what, what is meant to happen here is you are meant to be the messenger and the third party tools should be the message. So again, anything that is covered in a third party tool should not be coming out of your mouth. You want that to come from the tool. And the reason we're so fanatical here at Miriam about tools is because this is duplicatable. You want something that anybody can do. If you've got to have some slick, special script or sales speech of some sort, and you have to have it memorized and you have to know all the details, you may impress your friends. 
but they're also at the same time going to think, oh, I can't do what you're doing. And that's really the key is everyone needs to always think they can do what you do, whether it's about the product or whether it's about the business. They want to be able to know they could do what you're doing. So the, le the, the less complicated we make it, the more they're going to feel like they can do it. And that's what a tool is for. That is why you want to be using the tool. So, um, so, so definitely say less to your prospect and hand out more tools. Say less to your prospect, hand out two third-party tools a day, and um, you'll definitely see your business grow. So what are some of these good third-party tools? Um, first of all, Success From Home Magazine or Beautiful You Magazine. Um, we have a brand new Beautiful You Magazine that's out on the shelves right now. It is my favorite. Um, it has a lot of great articles in it, not only just about um, the, the product, the science behind the product and the extraction methodology, also our um, clinical trials and, and all of the background on the research from our, um, from our biotech company. It's also got some great articles in there about some of our um, yeppers, our young entrepreneurs and what they're seeing with the product and what they're seeing with the business. So um, as well as a, a section in there about how people are liking the product in their 20s, their 30s, their 40s, their 50s, their 60s, and beyond. So really, there's something for everybody in that beautiful You magazine. It's one of my favorites. Um, a Real Decision Pack, which is available in the... Um, in the order section of your back office, the Live Better Opportunity Disc Brochure or Reflect Your Youth um, Disc Brochure, which come in your launch kit, um, a Nerium Five Day Sample Pack, of course, the Nerium Experience itself, which is you letting someone try your own um, your own sample bottles for a five or seven day experience. But my very, very, very favorite third party tool to use on the front end is a video from their Nerium Communication Center. You'll hear this referred to, a, to sometimes as the NCC. And the reason why I am so fanatical about the NCC is, first of all, it's very, very, very quick. I don't know about you guys, but I, um, you know, the name of my game is how can I have the biggest success, you know, grow, um, help the most people grow, help the most people have better skin and spend the least amount of time. And so a lot of you, particularly if you're new, you probably have a million other things um, claiming your attention right now. And you only maybe have 15 minutes a day to put into this business. Well, if you only have 15 minutes a day, you can absolutely prospect two people a day using the NCC. Um, so it's very, very, very simple to use. The other thing I love about it, um, and Jacob will tell you this is true, I am a control freak and I like to know what's going on. I like to know the story. And what, what is so great about the NCC is it will tell you who's watching your video, how much of the video they're watching, how many times that they've watched it, if they're continuing to watch it and play it over and over again. And so it really lets you know who's the most interested. And again, this is going to help you on a timing issue because now you're going to be able to prioritize your follow-up. Again, if you only have five minutes here or five minutes there, you're going to know, oh, Sally has watched my video three times. Joe hasn't watched it yet. Who are you going to follow up with? You're going to follow up with Sally, who's watched your video three times. So it's very, very, very simple. Also, if you go to the um, Nerium store section of your back office, you'll also see how you can get on Nerium's magazine auto delivery program. You can get either 20 or 40 um, magazines sent to you every month. Um, what's great about getting on the auto delivery is um, Nerium will not be charging you for shipping if you get on the magazine auto delivery program. So that's another great way to uh, just kind of do a little bit here and there every day with third-party tools. So next we're going to set a follow-up. So, so what this is, is this is us scheduling a three-way call to follow up on the information that we just provided. So how this is going to work is you, a couple of things to avoid here. First of all, you don't want to be asking your prospect at this time for their thoughts. You know, you're not going to be asking them, what did you think about it? Or what did you like best? Or are you interested in this? That's not, not your concern right now. All you want to do in step three, after they've looked at 
a video from your NCC or after they've tried the product or after they have um, looked at a magazine. Within 24 to 48 hours, you want to schedule a three-way call. And uh, here's a sample script, and then we'll kind of go back and dissect it. So I might say something like, Hi, Sally. I'm so excited to connect with you about my new project. Uh, I know you're really busy, but can we chat really briefly today around 5.30 p.m.? Is, is that Does that time work for you? Sally's going to probably say, Sure, I'll be driving home from work then. Or she might say, uh, 6.30 would be better for me. So what you want to do here is a couple of things. First of all, you want to suggest a specific time. If you say, hey, Sally, when can you chat next? You're putting uh, the control in Sally's corner. And I always, I always try and use this analogy. If you owned a restaurant, you would be in charge, right? You would have... Um, all the people, the patrons that came in to order from you at your restaurant, you would definitely, um, you know, be kind to them, but but you're not going to ask all the people that come in your restaurant, hey, how should I run my business? Or you tell us exactly how you want, um, want your night to go. No, you've got a set way you do things. You've got um, a set way you prepare everything in, in an assembly line of some sort or certain people who prepare certain things, exactly where the food comes from. Um, you know, probably there might be an indoor and an outdoor to the kitchen. Um, you've got hostesses. You've got maybe people who are um, bussing tables. You've got bartenders. All of these things you already have set up and you're kind of dictating how it goes. And if people like your food, they're going to come back, right? Same thing here. This is your business. A prospect is, is not to be in control of your business. And so by using this sample script, you're going to maintain the control of your business. So when I say, hey, Sally, can we chat briefly today around 530? What I'm doing is I'm going to set a specific time to follow up. Obviously, that works for me, right? If we've got a schedule a three-way call. It's going to involve three people. You know, start with your schedule. What's the, what's the best time for you? If, if you have kids and they nap at two o'clock in the afternoon, you know, start there. Two o'clock in the afternoon is a great time to schedule a three-way call. So, so set a time that, um, propose a time that works for you. So let's start with your schedule. Propose a specific time. If you say, hey, Sally, can we, when can you chat next? She may say, um, you know, really not until like the, you know, two or three weeks from now. You don't want it to go that long. You want to control the um, control the timeline here. So by by you suggesting a time, you're going to maintain control of that timeline. The other thing you are not doing here is um, you're not asking again for feedback on the video or on the product. You're simply scheduling the call. That's it. Not asking if they're interested. Not asking if they're um, wanting to hear more or what questions they have or what did they think or what they like best or what can you get started? None of that. Just simply scheduling the call. The other thing you're not doing here is you're not telling Sally it's going to be a three-way call. Now, here's where I first heard this tip. Again, Mark Smith, top income earner in our entire company, and just the last year he's earned over $2 million um, with Miriam International. He's He's known all over the world um, for just being a genius in this in this industry and this is his tip not mine um, but what his tip is and I've seen it work countless countless times is if you say hey Sally can we get on a three-way call she's gonna think that we're gonna try and bombard her or corner her or put her in a high-pressure sales situation and she's not gonna want to be a part of that so we don't tell her it's going to be a three-way call because the fact of the matter is that when we actually do the three-way call, it won't be a high-pressure sales situation. We're going to only show her um, a little more information and, and take her to the next step or maybe it's not for her and, and, and we'll part ways, which is fine. Um, but, but what you want to do is not say, hey, Sally, can we do a three-way call? You just want to, again, suggest a time to chat. Now what you want to do is now it's today at 5.30, and so we're going to do the three-way call. So how we do this is, and this is step four, is you're going to connect your prospect on a three-way call. So the first thing you want to do is you want to call your upline expert first. And so if I'm your upline expert, you want to tell me 
two or three things about your prospect. Not their whole life story. I mean, I'm blonde, you guys. I have ADD. I can't remember everything about your prospect. We want to keep it short because my worst fear in life is forgetting your prospect's name. So if you just tell me one or two things about them, um, that would be very helpful. So it might be something like, hey, Sally is a stay-at-home mom. And she's very, uh, very pressed for, for time, but she's thinking that she might need to go back to work soon. So I think this might be a way for her to stay home and not have to go back to work. Okay, great. I'll, I'll be sure to mention that to her. Um, you know, or you might say, hey, this is, this is Bill. He, um, you know, owns, owns several different types of businesses. He's very, very pressed for time. Very, very successful. Um, but he, he definitely always keeps his eye open. So tell me, tell me just one or two things about your prospect and, um, and then we'll, we'll get your prospect on the phone. So that's the next step is for you to, um, put me, your expert on hold, then call your prospect. Now on a cell phone, uh, what will happen here is when you add a call, these calls are going to be separate until you manually merge them into one call. So uh, while I'm on hold and you're calling Sally, um, you can now introduce her to the fact that you're going to be putting her on the phone with me. Here's, again, a sample script. Hey, Sally, I'm so excited to let you know a little bit more about this amazing product I've been using. It's awesome. And, um, you know, I'm actually really, really new in this business, but um, I'm fortunate to have one of my business partners on the other line who wanted to tell you a little bit more about it. And her name is Janie, and you are going to really love her. She's had some great success, and I, wanna, I want you to hear from her. So hold on real quick. Let me merge her in. Again, I'm not asking Sally for permission. I'm just saying, hold on real quick, Sally. I'm going to merge Janie in. Um, so now when I merge the two calls, um, when you merge your two calls, when you merge me with Sally, what you're going to do is you're going to say, Sally, this is Janie who I just told you about. And um, Janie, this is Sally. And, and um, you know, she, she probably would be interested in hearing a little bit more. So I'll let you guys um, chat a little bit further. What you want to do at that point is put your phone on mute and don't take your phone off mute for any reason. <laughs> you want to make sure you just let your upline expert and your prospect get to know each other and talk to each other and um, take notes while your phone is on mute. So if you're very busy, this is great for you because you're able to maybe get some cleaning done while you're on the phone or, or maybe you're driving kids around and they're screaming in the background. So um, this three-way call is a great thing for you to um, for you to use if you particularly if you've got a busy schedule. Um, but if you can, if you're not driving around, obviously, if you're where you are, take notes and really be paying attention because a lot of time, if I'm your expert, um, as I'm connecting with Sally, I'm going to figure out, oh, Sally probably needs to come to our Tuesday night market party. So I'm actually going to invite Sally to the market party, but it's going to be your responsibility to follow up with her and make sure she gets those details, the address, the time, reminder when it comes time for that and all of that. So um, you want to, uh, you know, make sure that you're kind of paying attention because I might volunteer you to send her a video or to give her some product or to invite her to um, a market party. So, so make sure you're paying attention to what I'm volunteering you for. And then after the call, you say, thank you so much for making the time, and you hang up. Don't continue to resell your prospect. Um, probably whatever they needed to hear, the expert told them. So you can just hang up and, and continue the follow-up or continue the process that your expert um, talked about. And these calls are very short, uh, 10 or 15 minutes at the most. So um, we're not going to tell your prospect everything there is to know about Miriam. That's what we have uh, tools for. So what we're going to do is we're just going to um, tell them a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. Tell them a little bit more. Tell them our story. Figure out what they, um, what kind of information or questions they might have or what information or what step needs to be next for them. So these are not you know, 45 minute or hour long phone calls. They're very, very, very short. And then step five is to sponsor them as a brand partner or a preferred customer. 
So, um, you know, after we sponsor them as either, you want to make sure that we register them for the 90 day real results contest. Also help them get three year free. Um, and once, once all of this is complete, you want to make sure you get your brand partner, um, to a live event as soon as possible because that's really where the magic happens and that's really where um, people connect. This is a relationship business and um, that's really where people are connecting and, and starting to be a part of a group and, and getting to make new friends and make relationships. So uh, with that, you guys, that is our prospecting wheel. Uh, like I said, you want to make sure that you are um, – really utilizing this, utilizing this system. Don't get crazy with it. Don't come up with some super spe special slick way of doing things. Just go with this. Use the tools that are available to you in your back office. Don't feel like you've got to create special documents or you've got to create special um, flyers. Everything that you need is in your back office. So um, with that, you guys, thank you so much for taking the time to invest in yourselves, invest in your business, and um, get on this get on this uh, training. And if you are a new brand partner, I just want to remind you real quick, if you're in the United States, text the word REAL, R-E-A-L, to the number 59769 to stay up to date on um, our Nerium corporate information that they come out with. So with that, you guys, thank you so much for taking the time, and I hope to talk with you again soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.